Welcome to day 7 of 30 days AI challenge where literally I teach you how to create your own AI model. Yesterday we literally hosted AI without Wi-Fi. Today is going to be even much more crazier. Again reminding you WhatsApp channel is on the comment section. Go check it out and I can't wait for today. Let's roll in day 7. Okay, so now rather than uh, focusing on this command prompt and all, right? Let's go and have our own UI. So I'll show you guys something cool. Okay, this is not Chat GPT, right? This is literally uh, what do you say? Another okay that went. Now that is an error. I'll show you how to turn it on. It's because I turned it off. But this is happening on local host. That means it's on my PC. So if you guys type this on your Google, you can't find this. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys something. How to set this up and how everything this works. Okay. First of all, we need Olama. If your Olama is set, now I'll tell you what to do. So I'm going to close this. Okay. So I'm just going to open command prompt again. So first of all, to have your own ChatGPT kind of UI like this, we would need to do some stuff, right? We need to install Open Web UI. So here is the command for that. Okay, as you can see, just follow this. So I'm just going to come here and copy this. Okay. And just come to the terminal. Same terminal we went to install uh, Olama and paste this. P I P install open web UI. Okay. Just look behind me. So it will take a few seconds. So as you can see, it is already satisfied because it's installed. So I'm not going to wait till it's installed or some error might come. So I'm just going to close it. But Just type open web UI PIP install open web UI. Okay. Once you do that, type in open web UI serve. Okay. So the server will be on. Okay. So I'm just going to do the second step because my server is not on. That's why I'm getting the 500 internal error because it's not on. We are not giving any signals to the computer. Or uh, so I'm just going to type this. Okay. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm just giving it the location of Open Web UI. It is. It means the same thing as so. So anything works. So I'm just going to give this. So it is loading the web secret key. Let's let it do its stuff. Okay. It looks kind of complicated. I know it is. The Olama Web UI is downloaded, and that looks kind of cool. That UI looks really cool. Anyway, so now if uh, so if you go. To this number, let's say, if you all go to local host uh, semicolon eight zero eight zero, you should be okay. It's written here too. Okay, I am putting this behind me so it will be clear. Okay, if you go to this URL, you should see the open web UI work. Now, once you do that, you can see here all the models that you installed through Olama. Will show up here. So, like we did with before, we can click here, and tada! We have a really cool UI, just like ChatGPT, right? But this is running on our local host, so it's happening locally on our PC. We don't need to come here, and we don't need to type oh llama, okay, run this that. No, we don't need to do any of that. Okay, it's much more simpler here. You just have to type Olama pull any model and you can use it here. You don't need to say run, okay, the second command because you're running it here. It automatically sees what all models you have installed. That's why. So if I type hi, it should respond. So let's wait for it. It even has a lot of features similar to uh, ChatGPT. Like, can you see this voice option? It even has that, but like because I'm screen sharing, there will be some audio issues. So I'm not going to go through that. So next is on run this locally. So how do you run model? What are the advantage of running models locally? I already showed you guys. So it's privacy, right? It's speed. It's uh, it's free. The same thing is paid here. Okay, but imagine it being there for free, right? So cost, speed, privacy, everything is an advantage here. If you are ready to bear with the, you know, cost stuff. So this is a small video 
on how the this UI works. It's not a video like a picture, right? So you can see it just looks literally like chat GPT with all the UI. You can type stuff. It's crazy, right? So you can see here I type. It gives the answer. It does all those kind of stuff. I'm not going to in depth. I already showed that to you right now. Thank you so much for joining into this 30 day AI challenge. Hope you are able to learn something from this. Now you have to rewatch this. Understand the concepts again. Watching this once won't kind of help you. Now if you missed any sessions, do watch those as well. Anyway, thank you for joining. Thank you for supporting my mission in teaching you guys AI. Another person who is supporting me is Oxygen because there is a lot of cost to do all this. And I just want to thank Oxygen for supporting us, doing all this. Now, if you want awesome phones, awesome laptops, awesome washing machines that even has AI and stuff. I don't know, it's crazy. I've gone to that showroom. It has an Apple store vibe, right? So check it out. Love Oxygen. You guys already know. I don't have to explain a lot. That's it. Do join tomorrow. Thank you. My name is Rahul. You're watching Rahul the Rockstar. And I... I'm signing out.